Hello, mic test. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Kunwari nagsasalita daw ako. Check, check.
Dito na kayo sa harap. <laughs> Ayan o, si Ma'am Mir. Ako nga malamig. Ako nga. Sige, sige.
All right. Good afternoon. Healthy afternoon, everyone. <laughs> yeah, and so as we celebrate this nutrition month, well, we would like to thank everyone for joining us here today on a journey for a better health and wellness. Okay, so let's start now. So this lecture aims to create awareness of this year's Nutrition Month theme, Healthy Diet Going Affordable for All. With the emphasis on nutrition education lecture on healthy eating and lifestyle behavior modification by our invited nutritionist dietitian. Okay, so I know busy po tayong lahat, no? Sa work, hindi ba? <laughs> sa work man or sa personal life natin. Pero syempre, we need to prioritize our health then. Okay, so investing in our health can benefit both the indi individuals themselves and the organization we are part of. Resulting in a happier, healthier, and more successful workforce. Okay, so today... So to, to discuss the first part of our lecture focusing on healthy eating in real life, our first speaker is a retired registered nutritionist dietitian with 41 years of nutrition and dietetics experience in the hospital industry. Having worked for 23 years in St. Luke's Medical Center, 8 years in Our Lady of Lourdes Hospital, and 15, 15 years in Pagsanhan Medical Clinic and General Hospital. After retirement in 20 2021, she has had telenutrition consultation services at my hospital telemedicine healthcare services. In the field of clinical nutrition, her field of expertise includes nutrition support of the critically ill patient, backed up with skills immersion experience, and training in US based hospitals, medical nutrition therapy and lifestyle disease conditions, trauma and surgical care, weight management programs for corporate companies and home care for nutrition support. Teaching college students was a part of her academic experience at De La Salle College of St. Benilde, the Philippine Women's University, St. Joseph College, and Trinity University of Asia. Nutrition consultant of Department of Health Technical Working Committee and speaker for various professional medical organizations and conventions and pharmaceutical companies. She was also awarded as the Outstanding Nutritionist Dietitian as Hospital Dietetic Section in 2015 and currently the President and previously was the Immediate Vice President and Chair of the Chapters Committee of the Nutritionist Dietitians Association of the Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for a warm welcome to our first speaker, Ms. Maria Eloisa E. Villarza. Thank you, Paul. Okay, while waiting. Kung nagsabog ng 1 million pesos, sabi nila yung 1 million pesos daw nandito sa unahan. Yes! Okay! <laughs> Dahil yung matututunan ninyo, worth a million pesos. <laughs> okay? Ayaw. Sino na yung pinakamatagal dito? Na empleyado. So, sir, how many years are you with uh, CIIT pa? Four. Okay. Sino yung bago sa CIIT? So, how long ago were you here? About how many months? Oh, six weeks. You know your weight? Okay. So, you, you have to watch your weight. Uh. Okay. Okay. So actually, the topic that we'll be giving this afternoon is based on you. Kayo po yung topic namin today. So I hope you'll be able to learn from us. Uh, where, how many of you here uh, answered the healthy eating lifestyle questionnaire? See a raise of hands? 
Okay, so that's why you're all here. Yung palang mga nagsipagsagot. Okay, <laughs> very good. <laughs> How about, I, I think those, I think we're live streaming, am I right? We're live streaming also. I hope those who are listening to us have also answered the healthy eating questionnaire also. Sa tagal kong speaker, alam mo na naranasan ko yung, yung dati pang na umiikot na projector na nilalagay yung slide isa-isa. Yun ang, so ko, alam mo yung gano'ng katagal na ako. <laughs> Acetate din, naranasan ko yun. <laughs> Ganyan katagal na akong speaker. The, the, uh, the, the most memorable one that I remember using that uh, rotating one na may slide na ginaganon, mga bata. Eight years old to ten, but I enjoyed it because uh, the pictures were all uh, colorful, of course, because my audience were children. Overhead projector, yung nilalagay may acetate sa ibabaw. Mm. <laughs> I, your first slide, first slide, please. Oh, send it. Okay, so once again, good afternoon. Whenever we give a lecture, we also greet our audience. Hapon sa inyong lahat. Sagutin nyo nga ako, masustansyang hapon sa inyong lahat. Masustansyang hapon din. Okay, very good. So, Will you please read what's the title of my uh, lecture? Fitness or fatness in the workplace. But you have a choice. You want to be fit or the other way around, diba? Okay, because always it is the choice of every individual. So I am Maria Eloisa Villarasa, a registered nutritionist dietitian. I have some disclosure. I am the current uh, Nutritionist Dietitians Association of the Philippines National President, and this presentation is in collaboration with CIIT. Disclaimer, I am not in any way endorsing any product. Po. Okay. So the talking points of my presentation, as I told you a while ago, it is about you guys. CIIT, and of course the results of the questionnaire that you have answered. Of course, the first line of defense is always nutrition. Kaya, of course, at uh, the middle part of my lecture, we'll almost be uh, talking of nutrition and how you choose your foods as well. And uh, a little on uh, plant-based eating, we would like to distinguish what is uh, plant-based eating versus a vegan diet. And, and for the last is the nutritional guidelines for Filipinos. Okay. I always find enjoyment when I ask my participants to be proactive in my uh, lecture. And the first thing that I would like is, I'd like to ask a question first to all of you. So for the next qu following questions, you only just have to raise your hand, okay? And uh, at the later part, I will ask you probably to stand up. Okay, so my first question is, how many of you have cell phones? iPad, next kamay, naman. Okay, laptop. Nakadalawa na, what else? Who has a car? And, ah, hindi, dahil wala na parking lot dito na. Okay. Ang tanong ko, how many hours kayo na nasa laptop nyo? Five, six, seven, eight? Ten. Okay. Do you have an elevator here? But how many of you always use that, even one to two floors? 
Not the man. Okay, so probably you're getting what I'm pointing now. Okay, so I, I tell this, Teki Bakayo. The next one, Lafang Bakayo. Yan. Yan. Okay. How many would like to have? This is what we call the naked cake. Yung first picture, naked cake. Do yeah, this one. Masarap ba? How many of you would like to eat that? Good. The next one, the donut. Favorite, French fries. Wow. Nakumukang lahat yata ng napili kong litrato ay tama. And what about vegetable for snacks? For snacks. You would like to? Okay, good. And how about milk as your snacks? Yogurt as a snacks. Okay. This one is a yogurt. Okay. And what about fruits? How many of you still eat fruits? Okay. And canned fruits. Okay. Next. Eto. Now I would like to ask you, kapamilya naman na question ito. This time, pag na mention ko yung sakit, how many of you have relatives na merong hypertension? Tumayo nga kayo? Na may hypertension. Okay, remain standing. Yung na merong relative na na-stroke. Okay? Tayo lang po. Yung pong uh, relative na may cancer. Okay. Na may diabetes. Meron din. At cardiovascular disease. Kunan nyo na litrato yan para may ebidensya ako. <laughs> cardiovascular disease. Okay? So, ilan na lang po ang nakaupo? Ilan na lang? Dalawa? Dalawa? Ako po kasama rin ako dyan. Kami may hypertension. Meron ding family history kayo doon? Okay, sige. Okay, salamat po. Upo na kayo. Now, ayan. Welcome to the family of nutritional diseases. Tatay po niyan ay ang pagkakaroon natin ng, ayan, kulang sa fiber. No? Okay, hindi ka masyado kumakain ng gulay, even vegetables. Yan ang tatay na mga sakit na to. Ang mother naman is yung mga putting sugar or eating too much sugar in your daily diet. Okay, so walang ligtas. Even, uh, even me, I'm part of the survey that you had. Okay, now, this is the result of the survey that we had sa inyo. The total number of employees is, uh, according to Ms. Pao, is 92. And those who answered the survey are only 48. So which is more or less representing about half of your population. Now let's look at the survey. Uh, ang tawag po namin dito, point prevalence survey, sa one day, tinitignan namin kung anong nutritional status sa isang population. Malnourished overweight ba? Malnourished underweight? Malnourished obese. So in your case, ang normal po, out of the 48, 25 ang normal ang BMI. Pero sa 25 po, may aning po na normal, pero yung BMI nila, pagkukunin ko Asia Pacific Guidelines, pumapasok na sa overweight din. So, madadagdagan pa. Ang overweight sa 48 is only 11. Likewise, ang obese, class 1, class 2, class 3, magkakasama na 11 din. At ang underweight, isa. Pag tinotal ko po yun, 45.08. So, ano po sa tingin nyo, based on a national health interview sa U.S. daw po, ang health force ng U.S., 27.7% ang prevalence of malnutrition among U.S. workforce. But in CIIT, this is surprising. Why? 45% ng population ay may problema po tayo sa malnutrition. Okay? 45%. Next. Now, in the U.S., uh, this is an article published by, uh, uh, this is in 2016. Uh, there was a national survey done in Asia Pacific of around uh, 15,000 workers. Ang 500 po dito coming from the Philippines. Sinasabi po sa survey na to na ang workforce daw ng mga Pilipino is prone to high risk for obesity. Okay? So according to the survey, uh, sa U.S. naman po ito, out of 9 out of 10 workers in the Philippines spend at least 6 hours a day sitting in their desks with 52% of its workforce eating lunch at their work desk 2 or 5 times a week. Okay? 
Now, if you will look at the National <coughs> Nutrition Survey, which was done in 1993 <coughs> and 2019, increasing trend din po ang OTT. So, in 1993, nasa 16.6 percent pa lang. Pero ito pong 2019, 36 na. Every year, 2% ng 2% po itinataas. So really, this is very alarm. And these are data na ginagamit yung height and weight. Now, uh, waist circumference. Do you have any idea how the waist circumference is uh, uh, kinukuha yung data? Okay. Pwede bang meron akong isang kunin sa inyo? I will show you how we do it. Sino pwedeng mag, ano? Volunteer. May, may tinuturo siya. Siya na daw. <laughs> Sino pinakamaliit ang waistline dito? Baliktad po, yung pinakamaliit. <laughs> yung pinakamaliit. <laughs> baliktad. Yung pinakamaliit, ha? baliktad po. So, I'm looking for somebody whose waistline is bigger. Oh. Harap lang po dito, may papakita lang po. Paano namin siya uh, sinusukat? Okay, so ang normal lang is 0 0.85. Okay, now, if you do not still believe the statistics of BMI a while ago, you probably will believe me now. Ito po, nagko-coincide na yung waist ratio with those who were diagnosed to be diabet, uh, uh, obese or overweight. Okay, so meron na tayong two factors. BMI and the waist hip ratio are the waist circumference. Let's go further. Now, the first question in the survey was physical activity. A lot of you answered, you don't have any physical activity. When we say physical activity, hindi ko po yung sinasabi na yung nagjogging na sa araw-araw. At least, uh, when you're in the office, do some exercises. Like, halimbawa, kahit nakaupo, may activities kayong ginagawa. Okay, I will not expound furthermore on exercise. Number one, hindi po kami exercise specialist. But Ma'am Seni will be talking about it a little also on behavior modification. Okay. Now, also, it was uh, revealed in the previous survey that I told you in the Philippines workforce, exercise, uh, most of the Filipinos, ang exercise nila is less than three times per week lamang, with five out of ten getting less than 30 minutes of physical activity a day in their workplace. This suggests a significantly worrying trend locally at the back of rising obesity, obesity rates recorded in recent years. Okay. Now, how many have had a good breakfast today? Did you have a good breakfast today? Okay, kasi dito po sa, sa question na to, mas marami ang hindi nag-breakfast. So tama nga, isa lang at dalawa nagtaas ng tanong. So, we will go back in each of the questions later on. Okay. Snacking on junk foods like chips, donuts, soda, pop uh, cookies. And, um, in the survey, it says that Sabi nila, no, hindi na daw sila. Siguro, either hindi na nag snacks or hindi na umiinom ng mga soda soft drinks, okay? We'll go back to other uh, topics later on. What about smoking? I never smoke. Uh, about uh, 35 of those who answered smokes. 
okay? Nagsisigarilyo pa rin. Next, yung pung tulog. So as adults, ilang oras po dapat tayo? Seven to eight po tayo. So it should be seven to eight hours. So those of you who answered, hindi raw nakakatulog ng seven to eight. So probably four to five or six to seven lamang. So meron din po siyang relationship later on, which we will be able to tell you why. Kasi po hahaba yung portion ko, which I will only be tackling on nutrition part. Okay. Alcoholic beverage drinking. Merong din pong about uh, 12 who answered yes. They do drink alcoholic beverage, beverages. Now, what about maintaining a healthy body weight? Many said yes, they want to have a good uh, healthy weight, but about 23 said hindi nila iniisip yon maintain mag ano, ng body weight. Now, Miss, Miss Pao, sino challenge kita yung 23 yan? Yan ang pasyente namin. <laughs> yung 23, ayaw daw nila, uh, they, they, probably they're achieving a good body weight, but they're not able to maintain it. Those are our, our prospective patients. Okay, next. How about managing stress? Okay, sino ang madalas masakit ang ulo? Headaches. Madalas sinisipon. Okay. Madalas ding upset. <laughs> o allergies. Okay. So sabi ng inyong uh, workforce, um, some of them can manage stress, yes. However, about uh, 25 said no, they are not able to manage their stress. Okay. Now, bakit kaya nag-increase? What happened? Bakit nag-increase yung incidence of obesity? Now, we'd like to tell you that increased energy will all be also be because of your greater choices. Tumataas ang sweldo, nakakabili na, mas marami pagkain. Ay, hindi ba? <laughs> Tapos, um, high fat pero caloric dense foods ang mas napipili process or prepared foods and nagiging choices eating out and going to fast food as well super sizing di ba kapag pumu anong restaurant yung merong uh, additional rice mang inasal oh nung naglabas yung mang inasal okay and then you also have your bottomless pag pumunta ka sa fast food they all ask, also ask you uh, is it upsize okay next of course, kung sa pagkain yun, ang ating din mang problema is lesser energy expenditure. More time at the computer. Hindi na rin nagkakaroon ng weekends, at least to go to the park at, uh, as well. Mas dumami ang lahat, nagkokotse. And of course, change in work practices, lalo pa nung pandemia. Okay? Now, this is what all of it is all about. Acculturization. So you've probably seen all of this, which is now a practice in a lot of our restaurants as well. So for this year, the Healthy uh, Nutrition Month theme is Healthy Diet, Going Affordable for All. Can you repeat that, everybody? Healthy Diet, Going Affordable for All. Uh, ang key messages ng po nito, number one is on children to have a healthy diet, lalo na po sa breastfeeding and children. But for us adults today in the room, at least you have to focus on number two, eat various unprocessed or mini minimally unprocessed food, processed foods, balance across all food groups, and then have family and community food gardens as a food source of your food, and buy food from local farmers. So that's our nutrition for the month of uh, July. Okay, you will be seeing uh, most dietitians always start our lectures with the Pinggang Pinoy. Narinig nyo naman to. So, all over in the, in the internet as well. So, tingnan nyo na lang po ang Pinggang Pinoy. So, pag po kayo, alin ang mas marami? Kung punong-puno ng kanin, so is it balance? Okay? Or baka naman, pagdating po sa ulam, mas umaapaw yon. So, doon pa lang, pag nakita namin ang inyong uh, plato, we already more or no less, what is your pinggang Pinoy? Okay? Okay, now, talking about calories. Kasi kung sasabihin nyo, hindi lang po calories sa isang pagkain. Lahat po to, maging isda, baboy, manok, fats and oils, of course, milk, may calories po yung lahat. So, nasaan ang sikreto? 
yan ay tuturo namin later on as we go on, of course. The modification also plays a role as well. Now, another question that I'd like to ask you is, what did you have for breakfast? So can I approach one girl dito, ma'am? Ano ang kinain mo kaninang umaga? Kinain na uminom ng coffee. Uminom lang ng coffee. Coffee and bread. Sino pa may kakaibang breakfast dito? Ma'am? What, what did you have for breakfast? <laughs> Rice and egg po. Rice and egg. And then, chocolate po, yung hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Sino pang may kakaibang almusal na kinain dito? Kayo, ma'am. What did you eat, ma'am? Bread, water, and avocado. Bread? Oh, nari, 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 so, you're, you do, uh, are you hearing what others are eating? Bread, water, and avocado. Okay, thank you. Bread, water, avocado. What about you? Yes, what did you eat for breakfast? Coffee and eggs. Coffee? And eggs. And egg. Nothing else? How about water? Uh, a little. A little water. Okay, thank you. Anybody who would like to share? Yes. Uh, rice, fried chicken, egg, and hot dog. And milk. <laughs> okay, repeat that. Rice, chicken, egg, and hot dog. Great! May kulang pa. Sana ginawa mo ng lunch na yan. <laughs> what about vegetable? Do you eat vegetable for breakfast? Uh, yes. What about the fruit? Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you. Oh, sino pa? Sino pa ang may kakaibang breakfast dito? Anybody? So, so you have heard everybody's breakfast. Doon pala may kita na pa kung ano-ano ang pinagkakaiba natin and why we have all those sudden increase in our uh, vision part. Okay. Which do you think has higher calories? Which do you think has higher calories? How many says soda? Taas nyo lang kamay nyo. How many says soda has higher calories? Iced tea. That, that one on the other side is iced tea. So how many are saying soda has higher calories than iced tea? Soda? Okay, the others don't know. Iced tea. Iced tea. Okay. Let's look at this slide. Yan. So, uh, look at the number of grams of sugar. This is how we compute it. Ang isang kucharita po ng asukal ay 5 grams. So, if you say that this kind of uh, iced tea is 33 grams of sugar, that is probably six, 6 teaspoons. Whereas, your soft drinks will probably 7 to 8 teaspoons. Yung 7 to 8 teaspoons po ay halos one-fourth na po ng tasa. That's the sugar you're taking in with your soda soft drinks. Sa America, iba-iba po kasi pag sinabing soda, sa New York soda, pag nandun ka sa may bandang Canada, they call it pop. Iba-iba. Pop. Okay. Soft drink. Okay. okay. So, let's go to plant-based diet. Anybody of you here who is a vegan or into a plant-based diet? Gusto sana. How about a vegan? Kasi po, para sa amin, so we'd like to expound more, ang plant-based uh, eating is it focuses more on plant foods. But some can include a little fish and a little, uh, for example, uh, chicken. Pero yung pong vegan, totally no animal products po ito. And please take note, it needs a supervision for the meal planning with a registered dietitian because of problems that might arise with vitamin B deficiency. Kasi po sa mga protein foods, that is where you get your protein. But because you are missing this, we teach you how to get your protein from whole foods as well. Okay? There are also various ways on how we can do that. So how do we differentiate a plant-based versus a vegan diet? Uh, we say that with a vegan diet, there's no meat or poultry, no seafood, no eggs and dairy products, but you can have oil, highly processed foods, pero refined bleached flours, white rice is also given, whole grains, including your flours, your breads and pastas, you have your fruits, veggies, and starchy veg uh, veggies, and legumes. Now, ang pinagkaiba naman sa plant-based, wala ding meat, poultry, seafoods, pero merong oils, and down the line. You may check, pare-pareho, meron sila. 
Now, what is a whole food plant-based uh, diet? Ang mangyayari, more of whole grains, fruits and veggies, and legumes. So if you will look at the sources of proteins, nandito po, oh, nandito po, dito nila kinukuha yung proteins nila. But of course, you have to seek a consultation with us because we tell you how to plan it as well. Okay? Now, there are times that you have to think, ano bang kailangan kong kainin para po ako ay maging healthy? So, don't forget to also have your snacks. But this time, we'd like to share to you mindful snacks. So, how can I snack mindfully? First is understand why you want to eat. Sometimes, iniisip mo, gusto ko na kumain. Bakit gusto mo kumain? Meron tayong, lalo sa mga babae, pag halimbawa gustong gusto mo ng spicy, maalat, baka naman malapit ka na magkaroon ng monthly period na kung saan nagkikrave ka. Ano pa? Hungry ka talaga o nagagalit ka lang sa isang tao, gusto mo kumain. Ano yon? What else? You want something sweet. Okay? What else? Uh, if you understand why you want to eat, this will help you choose what to eat for a more satisfying snacking experience. Okay? Now, how to do this? Be present in the moment. So, limbawa, gutom ka ngayon. Na-analyze mo na, bakit ba ako gutom na? Gutom na kasi kaninang maga, hindi ako nag-breakfast. Gutom na kasi napagalitan ako, gusto kong gumante sa pagkain. May ganun eh. Okay, so, how do you do it? Number one is portion out your snacks and put the rest away or choose single pre-wrapped servings of your snack foods. Pwede ding, alisin mo muna yung distractions. Pag kumakain, alisin mo muna yung cell phones. Put off the TV. Smell and taste each bite fully. So, amuyin ng konti yung kinakain and savor the taste as well with your mind. Choose slowly. Okay, wag magpadali. Choose slowly. Sasabihin niyo sa akin, ma'am, kasi may deadline na ako eh, nahanap na ni sir or ni ma'am. Di ba? Minsan may ganun. Okay? What else? Notice the texture also of the food that you're taking in. Baka matigas ito, talagang dapat slowly. And then finish your bite before you take the next. So, wag magmadali. It's just like a very, uh, very common sense um, guide to you how to have a good snacking period. Now, we'd like to teach you how to outsmart the calories. So, instead of uh, soda pop, you can probably shift to a fresh fruit or a fruit juice, which is lesser in calories. What else? Halimbawa, instead of, nasa menu naman eh, if instead of a breaded pork chop, you could probably good, go for a grilled pork chop, which has also lesser calories. Okay. Okay, so I think uh, this is just to tell you that in a nutshell, all we are recommending is moderation. Okay. Uh, balance. You have the three food groups, carbohydrates, protein, and fats, the vitamins and the minerals. We also have, of course, variety as well. So, hindi lang siya po na pork yung nalaman mo na ang malunggay ay tumutulong na magpababa ng blood sugar eh, at o kaya ang palaya, ay eh, ang palaya na ang palaya na lang kinakain mo. O kaya nalaman mo na kapag ang okra nilagay sa tubig, makakapagpababa daw ng blood sugar. May mga ganun po kasing super serious belief sa pagkain. What works with one is not always true with Antonio. Okay? Iba-iba po tayo ng cases. And of course, dapat adequate. Adequate for our nutritional needs. Ang needs po ng isang bata is not the same as your needs right now that you are an adult. No activity, walang uh, ginagawa sa, sa, uh, sa office. Different din kapag athlete ang isang tao. So may kanya-kanya po tayong individual nutritional requirements. Okay? So I think that's all for now. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you so much, Ms. Eloisa, for that very helpful information. So, sabi nga po ni Ma'am Eloisa, no? So, it's up to us if we will choose fitness or fatness. Okay, so thank you again, Ma'am Eloisa. Okay, so to, to discuss the second part of our lecture, focusing on lifestyle behavior and modification, our 
second speaker is a retired associate professor of the University of Santo Tomas. She has 44 years solid experience in nutrition, health and wellness, having pioneered the first live-in spa program in the Philippines. She was also a member of the Philippine Olympic Committee team during the SEA Games 2017 in Kuala Lumpur and has appeared in numerous and major television programs. She is the president of the Nutrition and Emotional Wellness Center and Beauty Scene Salon. She is currently the secretary of the General ASEAN Federation of Dietetic Associations, vice editor-in-chief of the ASEAN Journal of Dietetics, and a member of the social communications team of the International Confederation of Dietetic Associations. In addition, she is the immediate past president and interim president of Nutritionist Dietitians Association of the Philippines Foundation. She has conducted numerous seminars and workshops to government and non-government agencies on nutrition, health and wellness, social and business etiquette, stress management, values development, and work-life balance. She was awarded as the most outstanding nutritionist dietitian in 2013, Excellence Award by the Professional Regulation Commissions in 2019, and recently awarded as the most outstanding alumna of the University of Santo Tomas, where she also received the Rector's Award for International Publication. Let's all give a big round of applause to our last speaker for today, Ms. Zenaida V. Velasco. Thank you, Ms. Paul. Thank you very much. Happy Nutrition Month! Happy Nutrition Month! <laughs> Going affordable. Yan na nga ba sinasabi? O dito, dito kay, dito kay Mercy. Ay, hindi ko po alam. O sige, si ano na lang, si Mark. Hindi po si Mark. Eh bakit nakaiba na upuan dito? Ralph pala, Ralph. Oh my God. Hindi ko po alam. Ayun, si Franz. Kala nyo. Healthy diet. Gawing! Naku! Sinasabi ko na nga ang iba eh. Nakikinig, nag-interact, maya-maya, tanungin mo, wale. Okay, makinig kayo ha, makinig kayo. Yes? Ay, nasan yung ating ano? Saan ba ito? Ayan. Ayan. Sige. Our topic today is Path to Wellness. All right. So, nasa ano ba? Pakituro nyo nga po kung nasa po yung east. Iba, north, east, west, south. Turo nyo lang. Sigurado kayo. Nako. <laughs> Sigurado kayo. <laughs> ah, sabi nga, hmm. point to the east. Come on. Point to the east. Point to the west. To the west. Yan na nga haba eh. Ayan. Kaya, para hindi kayo maligaw, makinig kayo sa lecture. Oh. Kasi ang lecture pa to wellness. Sabi nga, CIIP. P, may P pa kasama, di ba? Ano yung C? Creative thinking. Ano pa? Innovative integrity. Ano pa? Innovation and... Hindi po, naku sir, bawasan to ng sweldo. T. T is... Naku naman, technology. Ah, may isa pa. Ano yung passion? Uh, may passion pa, C-I-I-P-P. Pero nyo, dinadaanan nyo araw-araw, hanggang ngayon, hindi nyo memorya. Toink! Ah, kasi binago raw. Nagpapasalamat ako kay Ma'am Iris at kay aking pinsan, si Eloy po, and kay Pao. And of course, to our president, 
Mr. Sherwin O. Tama ba? And to Nathan and to Cedric and to all the people here today. Ayan, smile naman kayo. Kilig smile naman. <laughs> Sana nakakapture yan, no? Okay, dadalian ko na, no? So, as announced by Pao, thank you for the very generous introduction. Uh, I'm the CEO of the Nutrition and Emotional Wellness. I'm a member of the Dietetics Practice Group, Behavioral Health Nutrition, and maraming salamat po sa honorarium. CIIT. <laughs> Meron na po pambili ng lipstick. Kasi lahat po dito ng babae kailangan naka-lipstick. Kasi mwa-mwa, oh, sabi ni ma'am, mwa-mwa pa. Yeah. <laughs> Kasi part po yan ng brandy. Siguro kaya medyo nabanggit ko yan. I've been with John Robert Powers for 23 years. Yan pa. Okay, now, anong pag-uusapan natin? Marami. Hindi na natin isa-isahin, no? So, para matapos ako, kasi alam ko, 30 lang po tayo dito, no? Pag 3.30 lumagpas, sisimangot na kayo. <laughs> Di ba? Kasi may mindset kayo hanggang 3.30. Pero sana po, nakaikot kayo sa mga booth natin. Gardenia, Ano pa? Andin. Truthy. May yakult, ma'am. Meron. O oh, yan, may yakult. Ay, huwag kayo alis. <laughs> Tsaka meron tayong, ano, Entresol Platinum. All right. So, may kita nyo ngayon yung 10 leading causes of death in the Philippines. And most of them are modifiable. Pwede nating maiwasan ito, no? And number one is ischemic heart disease. Dumadami na rin po ang diabetes and all, no? Napinatayo kayo ni Ma'am Eloy, eh. Tinanong sa inyo, sino may mga kapamilya na may cancer, diabetes, etc. Alright? So, know your numbers. Kanina may nag-volunteer para sukatin yung bewang. Tama? Sir? <laughs> okay. Masaya ba kayo sa number na nakuha nyo? Kasi na, 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 alala ko, number, ang bewang, ay, number? Naku, ilan yung sinukat ni Ma'am Eloy kanina? 44, ang galing nyo. Ta, ano raw? <laughs> ah. Okay. Ah, sige. Kaya ang kanyang Ways to help hip ratio. Ayan mo, Bisaya, ways to help. Okay, help, help! Hooray! Ayan! <laughs> Tandaan lang po natin, no? BP 120 over 80. Kalapit lang po ng clinic, please. Magpa-check up po kayo, no? Ano pa? Cholesterol and, of course, yung tinatawag natin BMI. Ano po ang BMI? Oh, sige, pwede na kayo buwi. Okay. <laughs> sige, wala kayong premyo. <laughs> All right. So sabi natin, tingnan natin yung health and disease main component. We are a product for genes, kaya meron tayong familial disease coming from the family. We're also a product, again, of the environment. Yung mga kinakain nyo, yung mga style nyo, may kinalaman yan. But definitely, when you talk about health, ang pinakamahalaga dito yung letter C. Ano po yun? Paklakas. Ano? Choices. Choices. <laughs> Choices po. Nasa inyo po yan, no? Kaya sabi nga natin, our food choices can bring us health or it can bring us death. Anong gusto nyo? <laughs> Health or death. Oh, sabi nga, maraming factors, no? Na, nabang, nabanggit rin to ni Ma'am Eloy kanina, no? Affecting your food choices. Lalong-lalo na po, pag nandito sa college, medyo irregular ang kain, tama? Kanina, 
Ang dami-dami hindi nagbe-breakfast dito eh. Pag hindi kayo nag-breakfast, ano pwede mangyari? Pagdating ng lunch, pagdating ng lunch, isang bandehado ng kakainin mo. Kasi ang purpose of breakfast, to break the fast. At ang mga hindi nagbe-breakfast, lutang. O oh, yan, 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 meron. <laughs> okay. So, palagi namin, um, palagi namin pinag uh, pinag-uusapan, no? Okay. Ano bang gusto mong kainin? But, ano ba yung mga sinasabi ng mga dietitians na dapat mong kainin? Pero hindi siya umihinto doon, eh. Kasi, ano ang available? And that is why meron tayong food system. Sabi nga natin, no matter how healthy you want to eat, wala naman access to healthy food, yun know, ang problema. Correct? Kaya yan ang kasama sa problema. And therefore, pag tinignan natin yung definition ng health ng WHO, ang dami-dami, di ba? State of complete physical, emotional, social. Pero pag tinukoy natin ng wellness, anong pinakamag Halagang salita sa definition. Habits. Uh, anong ibig sabihin ng habits? We are a slave to our habits. But sabi naman ni Aristotle, excellence is a habit. Kaya nga sabi natin, what is my power? Ano yung power ng habit? To take breakfast every day. Yun. And second... Try to work out a routine where you could have your physical activity. Mamiya masasubok ko yung inyong lakas. All right? Mamiya na yan. All right? Ken napakahalaga. We salute CIIT for this initiative. Sana po tuloy-tuloy ang ating corporate wellness program. Gusto niyo po ba magkaroon ng gantong programa? Yes! Yeah! Palakpak po kayo. <laughs> oh, kasi tignan nyo, nakikita nyo, di ba, connectedness. Pero ang pinakamahalaga sa inyo ay yung letter F. <laughs> Financial security. Uh -huh. Kung, kung pwede lang nga, eh, lahat na nag-attend ngayon, 20% salary increase. <laughs> Nako, magwalang galang lang po. Baka hindi na ako pabalikin dito ni, ni, ni President. <laughs> okay, so marami benefits talaga ang workplace um, uh, wellness, no? Una-una, we're concerned about your well-being. Siyempre, napapagod kayo, nababurn out din kayo. And this is a way by which you have to embrace wellness. Hindi kailangan na mahal na mga gym equipment. Hindi po kailangan. Anong kailangan? Pera-pera lang. <laughs> Hindi naman po. So, again, at the end of a wellness program is productivity. It is what we would want to achieve. All right? Kaya nga pag gumagawa tayo ng isang wellness model, corporate program, inumpisahan ho namin kayo ng assessment. But, out of 95 or 92, ilan lang po ang sumagot? Ilan? But that is, but that is 50%. Sana mas marami sumagot. Alright? Because this is the way we understand assessment. Alamin natin kung anong problema para matugunan natin. Alright? And out of that, we create a program, evaluation, and monitoring. All right. I saw the data, Ma'am Eloy. Medyo the weight here, mataas. Tapos, hindi mahilig mag-physical activity, hindi rin kumakain ng breakfast. So, yung po ang mga assessment 
Very basic assessment yan. Non-invasive. Bakit non-invasive? Hindi kayo kinuna ng dugo. Diba? Non-invasive po. Pero part of a comprehensive assessment, kailangan rin po malaman natin yung blood sugar level nyo, cholesterol, yun po. Alright? And, ano naman may bibigay natin sa inyo? Anong kailangan ng karpentero para makapagtrabaho? Anong pinakamahalagang tool sa karpentero? <laughs> ano ang pinakamahalagang tool sa isang karpentero? Kahoy daw. <laughs> ano po? Ano ho? Narinig ko, sir, di ka dito. Ano sabi mo, Martilio? Tama po yan. Bibigyan kitang premyo. Ah, eto po. All right. Sige. So, ganyan rin po ang kailangan natin. Tignan natin yung iba't ibang wellness tool. Opisahan natin, ha? Physical wellness. Okay. Kanina, sa result, ilan lang po nag-exercise. And the recommendation is 150 minutes a week. That means, 30 minutes, pwede niyong gawin yan. Alright? But, sabi nga namin, uh, naniniwala kami na hindi kayo kailangan nakatayo, tumakbo, o nagjajag para maramdaman nyo yung physical activity. Tignan po natin. Ma'am Eloy, gagawin natin. Sige. Ganun niyo lang po. Sana may, sige. Sige. Padyak-padyak lang ng pa, tapos swing lang ng swing ng... Ayan. Sige. O, oh, yan. Yan lang po. Tatiming yan po ng... Sige po, march in place. Swing your arms. Alright. Sige, ha? Alright. March. Higher po. Sige. Yan. O. Oh. Pwero sa uh, kamay. Sige, gawin. Alright. One minute. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one. Nine, thirty. Higher. Forty. Hiningal. <laughs> Hiningal. Tumasa po yung heart rate nyo. That is the way na pwede tayong mag-exercise sa cilia. Now, if you wanted more cardio, medyo itataas konti at mas mabilis ang movement. All right. So, Napakahalaga ng exercise para po mag-grow yung ating tinatawag na BDNF para yung ating mga brain cells madagdagan. So, yan po ang mahalaga. So, huwag niyo pong sasabihin, nako, matanda na ako. Hindi na ako magla-learn. Hindi po yan. Because we are in the process of growing our brain cells. Tapos, palagi yan eh. Mental health. Exercise, pwede niyang tanggalin yung stress hormone. And therefore, yung simple exercise na yan can make your brain function better. Ano pa? Ayan. Sitting is bad for your brain. Ano po ang rule of thumb dito? Every 30 minutes, tatayo kayo. Tayo kayo. Ayahan. 
All right. Oh, Dr. Sir, sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, pag tumayo kayo every 30 minutes yan, it will become a conscious effort. Anong gagawin nyo? Sa kay titingin. <laughs> You can stand and you can walk. Tapos, rest ang mata. I know, palagi kayo nakatutok sa computer desktop. Medyo, gawin niyo itong sauna na ito. Turuan ko kayo. All right, you can now sit down. Ang tawag po natin dyan, sauna. Sauna bath. Hindi tayo kailangan pumunta sa sauna bath. If you think may ice cream kayo, that is the best technique you can do. All right, next. Sige na. Ah, eto. Sino po ang may problema with high blood? Wala naman. Meron kayong kakilalang may high blood. Sige. Identify lang natin si Tai Chong. Tapos pinapress-press lang po natin yan. Magkabilang pa. All right? What am I telling you? Kailangan din, meron tayong natural approach. Tama po yan, ma'am. Sa gitna ng thumb dito. All right. Next. Sige, baka tumagal. Oh. Sino una? Pali ang mercy, ikaw na. Si Mercy sa guidance natin to eh, di ba ma? Speech daw. Okay. Okay. Basahin natin ang well-being. Well-being. Hi! <laughs> Hindi! <laughs> the experience of health, happiness, and prosperity. It includes having good mental health, high life satisfaction, a sense of meaning for your purpose, and the ability to manage stress. Thank you, children. <laughs> Okay, so, sinabi ni Ma'am Eloy kanina about nutrition, about the plate method. Meron po tayong tinatawag na total diet approach. Ibig sabihin, no good or bad food. No good or bad food. And that's part of mindfulness. Pag kayo, judgmental. Oh, naku, huwag kang kakain ng crispy pata. Bawal yan sa iyo. Bulalo, mamamatay ka niyan. Oh, ang daming judgmental na gano'n eh, no? But always, natandaan nyo yung may plato at merong sinabi si Ma'am Eloy. Ano yun? Pinga, ano nga? May tatlong prinsipyo. Hindi po? Last slide. May plato, may mga words doon. Ha? Tatlo. Anong tatlo? Mali pa rin. Anong moderator? 
<laughs> Sige na. Mababa. Ano yan? Mababa. Tatlo lang eh, mababa. Naging apat. Ah, ulit nga, ma'am. Ulit. Ulit. Moderation. Moderation. Oh, pwede na. Ayan. Bigyan ng martilyo. Bigyan ng jacket. Ah, sige. Ah. <laughs> Konti na lang po, no? So, Pinggang Pinoy, grow, grow, glow. Mas marami ang gulay at prutas. Hindi makmak na kanin at karne. At meron tayong sample meal dito. Kung tayo ay gagamit ng Pinggang Pinoy, ibig sabihin yan, kahit na sa almusal, kayo ay may gulay. So, kanina si Kuya nagsabi, hotdog, kanin, Diba? Pero kulang pa rin. Chicken. Okay. So, napakahalaga po yung consumption ng salt. Alright? Maingat rin po tayo sa maalat na pagkain. Dahil pag maalat na pagkain, maaring tumaas ang presyon. Pag may asin sa katawan, pag a-attract ng water, mahihirapan magtrabaho ang puso rin natin. So, perhaps, sabi ko nga, sino po dito mahilig sa patis? Toyo! Bagong! Nako, medyo mataas po ang sodium niyan. Alright? So, ngayon, ano nga yung, ano nga yung unang ano, tool? Hindi! <laughs> Physical. Kayo naman eh. Oh. Grabe. <laughs> oh, emotional wellness. Oh. How do you feel today? Ano mo nararamdaman natin? Okay. Pag kayo'y masaya, pwede kayo pumalakpak ng isa. Kung kayo'y galit, tatlo. Oh, galit ba kayo? <laughs> Yeah, uh, okay, practice, practice. All right. Mindfulness. Tignan nyo kung ilang claps ang dapat yung gawin. Pag binigyan ko kayo ng signal, how do you feel today? Papalakpak kayo according to your feeling. Ready? One, two, three. How do you... Ay? <laughs> <laughs> Eto, ang tawag dito, ang tawag dito, mindlessness. <laughs> ang <ta> mindfulness po. Sige, mag-concentrate, mag-focus, isipin mabuti kung nasaan kayo. How do you feel today? Oh, bakit may dalawa? Sad. Okay. Kulang ng vitamin C. <laughs> Again. Ito ha, focus. How do you feel today? All right. May dalawa ba? Wala. Okay. Good. So, when we talk of emotional wellness, kailangan magaling tayo mag-manage ng conflict. Meron tayong emotional intelligence. At meron tayong anger management. Alright? Now, so emotional intelligence is simply understanding your own feelings and the feelings of other people. So, ano kaya pag mababa ang EQ ko? Right? Ito po magiging problema. Okay? Loneliness, depression, Okay, fear, irritability, and therefore, sabi nga natin, an emotionally stable person is always 
happy. All right, again, repeat, an emotionally stable person is always happy. Yeah, happy toothpaste, all right? So therefore, kailangan mag-control tayo ng anger because one letter added to it, the anger will become good. Sige. Now, mental naman, mental. All right. So, we believe that the food that you eat can affect your mood. All right? Ang dami ng mga studies tungkol dito. And therefore, sometimes, we resort to comfort food. So, pag medyo sad, may problema, naghahanap ng mga comfort food. Ano kaya ang pinaka number one comfort food ng mga Pilipino? Chocolate? Kape? <laughs> All right. Actually, depende sa generation pa. Pag kayo nung bata at umiiyak, malungkot, binibigyan kayo ng comfort food ng nanay nyo. Yun din yung hahanapin nyo. Yan din ang hahanapin nyo. So, kaya, your program for dati, naaalala, nagkakaroon ka ng recording nun. So, kung ano yung binigay sa iyo, yun rin yung magiging comfort food mo. Alright? Napakalaga intindihin yung tinatawag natin food and mood. Kasi meron po tayong second brain. Ano po ang ating pangalawang utak? Ay, sir, sige, tama yan. Chan, o, lika, tama yan. Galing mo, ah. ah. Kasi magkakonekta eh. Magkakonekta ang utak at yung ating gut. So pag medyo ninenervyos kayo at baka mapapagalitan kayo ni Bossing, iba't iba nang nararamdaman nyo, di ba? Yun yun eh. Kasi magkakonekta sila by the vagus nerve. Alright, next. Alright. So sabi nga natin, for mental wellness, manage stress. Stay connected. And napakarami ginawa ng ating pandemic, no? May fear, may anxiety, may stress. Dumarating si Judith nyo every month. Judith. Tama, malapit na, malapit na. And you react differently, pero tingnan nyo ito. Ano ang naging result? 41% who are working from home are even more stressed. Right? Then, laki, no? So, eh, bakit ko naman pakikalaman yan? Because stress has a physical toll on your body from head to toe. And I will challenge you tonight. Hubare ng sapatos, amuyin kung maasin, mataas po ang level ng stress. Yeah. <laughs> Taan nyo. <laughs> oh, wag nyo na akong tatanggalin ng medyas ngayon. <laughs> Alright. But, eto po, no? Sino po dito mga parents? Yan. Nanay, tatay. Okay. Pag nag-resume ang classes, check nyo rin po yung mga sapatos nila. All right? Oh, wag na, ha? So, how do we move forward? Maraming paraan, no? Okay, social connection, self and team efficacy. Pero maganda yung salitang, can you repeat after me? Resilience. Again, resilience. Ano ibig sabihin ng resilience? In short, Pag tayo resilient, meron tayong BB. BB. B, ba, ba. Ano yun? No. Hmm? 
When we have resilience, we can be, be. Wow, panalo ka, ma'am. Ah, sige na, matatapos na, no? Um, hindi ko pala kayo na-invite kanina. Pwede nyo kasing kunan itong slides ko eh. Pero wala na huli na. So, remember, yung BB, yung bounce back, kahit ano mangyari sa inyo, you will have to have self-awareness, mindfulness, again, self-care, positive relationships, and purpose. Now, Mahalaga, positive relationships. Lalong-lalo na po sa company. That means, hindi lahat po ng tao dito is a competition. You have to work in collaboration. All right? So, eto na po yung sinasabi ni Ma'am Eloy kanina. Mindfulness. Eto po ay... Uh, ginawa 2,500 years ago ng mga Buddhist at tinintroduce sa Western culture ni John Zabat Zin. Okay? Ano ba yung mindfulness? You have to be in the present. Ano ba yung in the present? You're now here and nakafocus yung energy mo, attention doon sa ginagawa mo. Pag nagpo-focus ka at yung attention mo nandun sa nangyayari, nalilimutan mo yung mga past mistakes at nalilimutan mo yung mga anxiety mo about the future. Alright? So therefore, napaka-busy natin. Hindi natin pwedeng pigilan yung takbo ng ating buhay, teknolohiya, And we are all guilty of multitasking. Clap once if you agree. Ah, konti lang, ha? <laughs> Yung iba, no task. Kaya walang multi. Okay, walang ginagawa. Kaya hindi nagmamultitasking. <laughs> uh, uulitin ko, ha? Pumalakpak na isang beses pagkay nagmamultitasking. Okay. Tama yan, no? And therefore, ang pinakamahalagang example ng mindfulness, yung sinabi ni Ma'am Eloy, yun yung conscious eating. Na nanamnam mo yung kinakain mo, naaamoy mo, alam mo yung texture, alam mo yung flavor, lahat ito, kaya tinawag mindfulness. Bakit ang mga Pinoy hindi kayang gawin ito? Kasi ang bibilis niyong kumain. <laughs> ang Pilipino is a fast eater. And the Filipino nagsasalita habang kumakain. At ang Pilipino nakakaubos na isang bandehadong pansit habang nag-uusap. Yan. <laughs> Kaya nga sabi natin eh, ano bang benefit to mindfulness? Naku, marami. Ang benefit niyan, mental health. Maaring gaganda ang tulog niyo, gaganda ang attention niyo, uh, yung inyong chronic pain, mababawasan, ano, marerelax kayo. And ngayon po sa skwela, meron na silang curriculum on mindfulness. So, challenge ko po ang CIIT for mindfulness program. Ama? May bibili ba nito? Wala. Kung wala, wala kayong pokari sweat. Ayan, ang salaba. <laughs> okay? So, but eto lang po ang gusto kong sabihin sa inyo. Yung mindfulness, hindi lang habang kayo'y kumakain. In fact, sabi ko, focus, attention. Example, nagsisipilyo kayo, di ba? Kung may mindfulness kayo, pwede niyong isama yun. Anong gagawin ko? Ano bang kamay ang ginagamit ko pag nagsisipilyo? Right. Ah, balik ka rin nyo. Gamitin ang non-dominant hand pag sipilyo. Habang kayo nagwa-wash ng dishes, habang kayo nag-garden, pwede niyong ipasok 
si mindfulness. So ganun po kahalaga natin sa buhay ang mindfulness. But wag niyo kalimutan yung lecture ni Ma'am Eloy. Mindful snacking. Mindful snacking. Mga hindi kayo nakikinig, ha? Alright. So, your journey to wellness begins today. Your, your, your journey to wellness begins now. 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 Alright. Yung sumagot ng now, they're, they're very mindful. Congratulations. Wala nang premyo. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, napakahalaga self-care. Alagaan natin yung sarili natin. Sabi nga natin, we cannot give what we do not have. Alright? And, sabi ko, shield strategy. Matulog, handle stress, interact with family, exercise, and of course, your diet. Okay, now, kulang kayo sa tulog. Aminado. Pag kulang sa tulog, yung brain nyo hindi marerepair yung sarili niya. Kaya ang mga taong kulang sa tulog ay prone sa kalimot. It can be Alzheimer's. Ang taong hindi natutulog ng maayos ay maaaring magka-diabetes. Totoo yun. Alright? At yung pinaka-favorite nyong mapakinggan, ang taong hindi natutulog ay lutang na lutang. Yun po. Alright? And, palakpakan nyo ang sarili nyo. Turuan ko po kayo na mas magandang palakpak ng John Robert Powers. sharing the lifestyle behaviors that will help us to be more productive and healthy. So sabi nga po ni Mizeni, our food choices can bring us health or can bring us death. And also na mention din niya na very important po pala ang pagbe-breakfast. So simula ngayon, bukas. <laughs> Sige, may free breakfast pero dapat 5 a.m. nandito na. Hindi, joke lang. <laughs> Ayan, okay. So for our last part, uh, we will be having our short Q&A portion po with our invited dietitian. Um, feel free to raise your hands na lang po should you have any questions. And also, the HR and Clinic Department prepared a free healthy snacks para po sa lahat ng nag-attend ng ating um, nutrition lecture for today. And also, um, later po, pagkalabas natin dito, meron din po tayong free po, curry sweat and tobleron. <laughs> Ayan. Pero syempre, um, yung food po, kainin na lang po natin later after po nung lecture. Okay? So, kung meron po... <laughs> so, kung meron pong gustong mag-ask uh, ng question sa atin pong mga um, invited speaker, meron po ba? Ayan, sige, si Ma'am Angge. Opo, sorry po. Hi po, good afternoon. So, again po, thank you for your um, wonderful sp speech. Charot. <laughs> De, pero on a more serious note, ang um, question lang po, kasi halimbawa, kung need mag-gain ng weight or to buff, no? So, is taking whey po ba advisable? Mga protein whey, mga ganun. Mga gainers, o mga ganun. Okay, whey protein. Have you tried it? Not yet. Okay. Uh, there are many ways para maging uh, mag-increase ng weight ng isang tao. But first, of course, being a dietitian, we always work with our doctors. We'd like to know more about your medical background. 
Kasi bakit ka naglulus ng weight? Baka may iba ka pang medical problems. So that's why we have to work together. So in terms of nutrition strategies, pwedeng gumamit ng whey protein. Bakit hindi? But as a dietitian, I will count the calories, how much you will put into it. Because uh, one scoop po, ng uh, whey protein is 14 grams of protein. Katumbas na po ng isang matchbox size ng karne at kalahati. So, anong point ko po dito? We have had cases of those taking uh, whey protein, their kidneys were challenged. That's the problem. Have, have you heard? Yeah, have you heard about Carlos Agassi? Yes. Carlos Agassi had been, I think, th uh, taking this whey protein and I think he had undergone dialysis because of that. Okay, so it takes a lot of, of course, reading, read more about the product. Pangalawa, do you really need it? Isa yon. Pangalawa, as a dietitian, I would rather give you an advice to have whole foods where you will get all the nutrients. So when we say whole foods, you have your milk to get it from milk. Naggagatas ka ba? Kung hindi naman, I'll teach you other sources of foods where to get your calcium as well. Okay? Thank you for asking that. Next question. Okay, thank you, Miss Eloisa. Meron pa po ba? Anyone? Yan. Questions po? <laughs> okay, sige, kami may question sa inyo. Sige, kami na lang ang magtatanong. So, after this lecture, no, so dun sa na-discuss po ni Ma'am Eloisa and ni Ma'am Zeni, ano yung realizations natin? Sige, ano yung sa tingin mo kaya mo nang gawin? Mamaya or bukas? Sige, sige. Magtatanong tayo. Ma'am Tin. <laughs> Kasi ikaw yung nakatingin eh. <laughs> Sana hindi na pala ako tumingin. <laughs> so far naman, based dun sa, ah, thank you po pala sa talks nyo po. Well appreciated. Okay, so far naman po yung mga ibang routines or na-share nila is at least nagagawa po natin na sa PE teacher. So we need to set an example kasi din sa students. Mm -hmm. Siguro doon na lang tayo guilty sa part ng ano, sa, sa mga mindful eating. Oh. Siguro kasi one of the factors is, of course, our schedule. Mm -hmm. Siyempre, we need to eat fast kasi para at least kahit papano makarelax muna for the next class. Especially our class is more on physical since we are with Sir Mark, PE teachers po kasi kami. So we need to at least makarelax muna bago ulit pumunta sa next class. So pagudan po kasi yun. So yun, medyo guilty po kami sa part na yun. Realization, of course, yung big word lagi, self-discipline. Kasi it starts with us naman talaga. Eh. No matter what, kung ano man ang i-share nyo, kung wala kami self-discipline, hindi pa rin yun mag-work. Correct. Ayun lang po. Thank you. Ayun. Thank you, Ma'am Tin. So, sabi nga ni Ma'am Tin, self-discipline is the key. Okay, meron pa po bang gustong mag-share? Realizations? Sige, sige. Dito tayo. Tanongin natin si Doktora. <laughs> Dok, ano pang realization nyo today sa nutrition lecture natin? <laughs> Yes, opo. Uh, realization na marami tayong maling ginagawa araw-araw, no? Mm -hmm. yung, yung mga kinakain natin. Kasi uh, feeling natin pag nabusog talaga tayo, enough na yun. Pero uh, mali pala kasi masarap kasi, di ba? Kaya gusto gusto natin <laughs> kainin yung mga masasarap na pagkain. Kasi uh, sa part ko, Kasi lately, di ba medyo nag-diet din ako kasi medyo malaki rin ako dati. So, yung mga healthy, hindi talaga masarap. <laughs> Pero kailangan mong gawin, kailangan mong kainin. Uh, katulad sabi nila, yun nga mga vegetable. May mga vegetable kasi talaga na hindi kaaya-aya ang lasa. Pero kung gusto mo talagang hindi machugi ng maaga, talagang gagawan mo talaga ng paraan. Pero sabi nga, pag kinain natin yun sa una, mahirap. Pero as times goes by, parang nasasanay na rin yung mga taste bud natin. Then, sabi nga nila, kailangan ng exercise. Which is talagang totoo. Mm -mm. Dahil sa part ko, as a dentist, napakahirap talaga ang walang exercise. Kasi after ko mag-treat, medyo masakit na talaga yung mga likod ko. So, 
umiidad na ako, so nararamdaman ko na talaga yun. So noong, kaya talagang I make it a point na talagang maglakad. Walking talaga ginawa ko. So pag namamalengke ako, nilalakad ko na lang ang palengke. Pero nagtatricycle na lang pabalik kasi mabigat na. <laughs> Yun po realization ko na sa una talaga mahirap. Pero kung gusto natin maging healthy, yung mga tinuro nilang lahat, tama yun. Talagang mahirap. Mahirap mag-diet, mahirap. Actually, hindi naman diet is yung bawasan yung pagkain. Tama po ba yun? Hindi mo kailangang ano, hey, deprive yung sarili mo. Ang kailangan, i-balance. Kung yung sabi nga nila, go, grow, glow. Kung konti, konti, hindi hindi maramihan. Kasi, siyempre tayo, takaw mata. Pag marami, parang gusto natin ubusin. Uh, yun lang po. Parang sa gulay kasi talagang, sa nakita ko, talagang gulay po. At saka less, uh, less meat. Yun po ang nakita ko. Yun lang po. Thank you so much, Doc Marinel. Ayan, so, okay. Yes po. Ah, yes, ayun. May question daw po si Sir Mark. Yes, sir. Good afternoon po. Uh, baka kasi di ako makatulog eh. Uh, it's about hyperhidrosis. Uh, is it true that the, the common nutrients that uh, we lose is sodium and potassium? Hyperhidrosis is uh, too much sweating. Ayun. And... Uh, Uh, what will be your advice no, to replenish those nutrients? Coach, ganda question mo. Siyempre, ang mga prutas ay mayaman sa mga electrolytes, especially. Sabi nga natin, watermelon is 95% water. Uh -oh. Pero kung talagang gusto yung shumorkat, ayan po, katabi natin yung pokaris. <laughs> So true, we have sodium, potassium, we have other ions na kailangan po, no? But don't think of hydration as water alone. Don't think of it. Kasi yung mga kinakain natin, uh, gulay at prutas, I may water din po siya. Natural water. But of course, pag tayo ay medyo matas ang sugar, ililimit na rin po natin yung pagkain natin ng mga prutas. Um, yes. Follow-up question. Uh, may connection po ba siya sa ano, so, uh, ankle soreness? Yes. Okay. Talagang ano, kulang ka sa mga electrolytes, especially with magnesium, maaari magkaroon ka ng muscle soreness. But there can be a lot of reasons bakit may muscle soreness. Check with the doctor kung bakit may muscle soreness. Pero ang madalas nangyayari, sino po namumulikat dito pag-iising sa umaga? Ay, si Doktora. Uh, maari rin pong may kinalaman yan sa pagtulog nyo. Minsan kasi pag natutulog kayo at medyo disturbed kayo under stress, na ipupush nyo yung nagiging tense then yung inyong muscle before you sleep. And that will run on until the following day, and then you will feel the cramps. Okay. Uh -uh. So, ganun po. So, again, before you sleep, syempre, bago pumikit, thank you. Pasasalamat for, to everything that you have in your life. And then, do not sleep with a negative thought. Do not sleep with a problem. Bakit hindi pwede? Kasi yung subconscious mind mo, ko anong huling inisip mo, nagmumultiply yung thoughts na yon. So always sleep with prayer, with a positive thought, so that the following day, you will feel rested. Hindi yung parang nakatulog ka na, pagbangon mo, mukhang kulang ka pa sa tulog at meron ka pang chronic fatigue. Parang lalo kang napagod sa pagtulog mo. All right? Ayan po. And uh, of course, sabi natin, water is life, oxygen is life, and part of this, our wellness journey 
meron rin po tayong breathing na ginagawa. Would you want to know that? Ay nyo, diwag. <laughs> Pinag-aralan ko po ito eh, may, may I just say, um, when I was going into the stress program in New York, nagbayad ako ng $600 for this program para rin turuan ako paano huminga. Okay, paano pong huminga? Four by four, four by four by four. Breathe in four, gawin natin. Breathe in, masisinghot nyo yung nasa harapan nyo. Alright, breathe in four. Again, one, two, three, four, breathe in. Talaga exaggerate nyo. Breathe in four, hold on four counts, and exhale to your mouth by blowing your candle like this. Pag ganto, breathe in, hold, blow, kulang. Kailangan mahaba-haba yung blow. Tingnan nyo ha. Yan, yeah, mari natin gawing contest yan dito, pahabaan. <laughs> yan, salamat. Thank you po. Thank you po. Thank you. Okay. So, thank you everyone for joining us here today. So, we have come up to the end of our program. We hope that you have enjoyed this day, but most importantly, we hope that you have instilled in your mind the value of having a healthy body. Thank you, dear speakers, Ms. Eloisa and Ms. Eni, Board of Directors, students, faculty, and staff for making this day possible. We would also like to thank our company partners, Yakult, Calbe, Gardenia, Mondelez International, and Pocari, Fonterra, GX International, and Toblerone for being part of our Nutrition Month celebration. So let us bring the learnings with us and start pondering the things that we should do and apply it as soon as possible. The values highlighted in this Nutrition Month celebration should remain and should continue to inspire us to be healthy at all times. Thank you, everyone, and have a great day ahead. Pwede niya na pong kuhanin ang ating free